Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Westchester University. Would you please rise and welcome the graduating class of 2019.
Good evening. I'm pleased to introduce Catherine Corbino, class of 2019, graduating from the Wells School of Music, who will lead us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you to Catherine, and thank you to our conductor, Ian T. McLaughlin, and the musicians in the WCU Wells School of Music Brass Ensemble. Please be seated. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Evan Leach. I'm the Interim Dean for the College of Business and Public Management. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the 2019 Undergraduate Commencement Ceremony. All right, it's, it's all right. This evening, we are commemorating the graduation of students from the Management Department in the College of Business and Public Management. We are so pleased that you all can be here at this momentous event. I would like to begin by congratulating all of the students here this evening who have reached this educational accomplishment. I would also like to congratulate the family members, friends, and numerous individuals who have supported their students throughout this process. This is indeed a night of celebration for all. While we are signaling the completion of a journey tonight, we are also celebrating entry into the next phase of our graduates' lives. Looking back, we are all really proud of what our students have accomplished over these years. And looking ahead, we are excited to see what tomorrow may bring for you as you make your way out into the world as graduates of Westchester University. Okay, um, guests at tonight's commencement include an esteemed group of committed WCU faculty, administrators, staff, alumni, and distinguished guests. I ask that all members of the platform party, administrators, and staff in attendance to please stand and be recognized for your service. Thank you, please be seated. I would like to recognize a group that has had a great deal to do with your being here tonight, the faculty of Westchester University. The faculty constitutes a diverse group united by their love of teaching and their dedication to the students of Westchester University. Without them, the milestones we mark today could not have been reached. Will the faculty of the university present tonight please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the President of Westchester University, Dr. Christopher Fiorentino. Good evening. This room looks great. <laughs> yeah. 
as you know, we've, we've gone off in a grand experiment here. We're splitting into smaller ceremonies, and this is our first evening, and the, the other one started a half hour ahead of us, so we're right there in the first group. But uh, we're pleased to be presenting commencement in this fashion with faculty here. The faculty know all of these students. It, it's really a, it's a great ceremony, a great commencement, and we're delighted that you've all joined us. So welcome honored guests, families, friends, alumni, faculty, staff, and most especially members of the Westchester University class of 2019. I will keep these remarks brief. I've learned that shorter is better when it comes to commencement remarks. <laughs> but I would like to take just a few minutes to congratulate you and remind you what a significant achievement you have attained today. At Westchester University, you developed critical skills and knowledge for your career, your personal life, and for a lifetime of benefit to others. Attaining your degree meant expending considerable time and energy, often at the expense of other important things. You may have juggled a job, athletics, community service, involvement in student organizations, military service, or responsibilities to your families with the ever-present demands of your coursework. You've worked hard, perhaps harder than you even knew you could. You know, only about 30% of Americans have attained a bachelor's degree. Think about that for a minute. It's hard to quantify the overall value of an education. Many of the benefits are not related to money. But looking strictly at the financial side of things, it's clear that a bachelor's degree pays off. U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics data show that the more education you have, the more likely you are to have a job, and to earn higher income. Education is one of the surest paths to securing the future that you desire. When it comes to landing your first job after college and later moving on to other jobs, I encourage you to be open to all possibilities. Get out of your comfort zone and apply for those positions that look really great, except for the fact that they also look really intimidating. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, do one thing every day that scares you. My second and final piece of advice is to think about what you bring to this world that will make a difference in the lives of others. Not necessarily something that will make you famous or important, but something that you alone can offer. Last year, you and your fellow students participated in more than 700,000 hours of public service through coursework and co-curricular programs. I'm proud of Westchester University's strong culture of service, and even prouder when I hear our alumni say that Westchester was the spark on a lifelong journey of giving back. In ways large or small, I would ask you to discover your unique gifts and talents and cultivate them for the benefit of others. On behalf of the university, I would like to thank the many people who worked to make today's commencement a success. And as I said, this was a new journey for us, so there was a lot of people doing a lot of work, and I'm very proud of, of how this is turning out. My appreciation to public safety, to our students, faculty, staff, and alumni volunteers, and to everyone involved in planning today's ceremony. Graduates, you have earned an outstanding degree. Congratulations on this achievement. The world awaits your talents, your creativity, your passion, your big ideas, and your boundless energy. Take what you have learned at Westchester University and make your mark in your profession, your community, your family, and wherever your journey takes you. Best wishes, members of the Westchester University class of 2019. Thank you, President Fiorentino. I'm pleased to introduce Nicole Boylan, 
graduating from the college class of 2019 with a BS in business management and a BS in marketing, who will present greetings on behalf of the class of 2019. Well, hey everyone, this is pretty cool. Uh, a lot more packed than the practice that we did yesterday. Uh, I did a lot of research on how to make a good speech. I wanted it to be funny and impactful and not corny or cliche. Amidst the research, I realized I probably can't tell you anything that you don't already know or anything that you won't learn along the way. I can tell you about my experiences here, but you probably don't care about those. You care where you're going next, who around you will still be there for you when life hits really hard, what on earth you will do without your mom, let's be honest, I know that one's not just me, when you'll really feel like an adult, and why the heck four or maybe five, you guys do you, flew by so fast. So I've got just a few things to say. One, thank someone who helped you out. Probably sounds stupid, but if you take a second, you'll think of all the professors, specifically in the management department, organization advisors, family members, or friends that really made a difference. For me, it's my mama. I came to Westchester because my grandmother lived two miles up Westchester Pike, and she made the world's best cheese potatoes. More than the cheese potatoes, she was my best friend and completely made my college experience, coming to campus for events and sporting her WCU gear. If I could thank her in the audience here today, I would. So make sure you thank your person. Two, if you got yourself here today, financially, mentally, emotionally, whatever, you deserve this. I totally thought commencement was a great waste of time, but honestly, this will likely be the last hour you get to soak it in before it's all over. And you'll probably get a nice dinner in town tonight, so soak that part in too. But I know you all worked hard in, in at least some components of college. Maybe for you it was sports, maybe clubs and organizations, maybe accounting 202, because that's what did me in. So be proud of yourself for getting here and earning this degree. And most importantly, three. If you don't own a Jake's Bar shirt, please, for the love of Rami, go get one. They're literally $4. <laughs> I did find that quotes are a solid move in closing out speeches, so here's what I got for you. As the great and wise Kanye once said, <laughs> all I want is dopeness, and that's some wisdom I can get behind. But all I want is for everyone here to be hitting the alumni events in Florida, sipping margaritas, and taking weeks of paid time off from our six-figure jobs. And dopeness, of course. Let's bleed purple and leave gold wherever we go, because these Rams are not here to play. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Nicole. I'm happy to announce that today's ceremony is being photographed by a professional photographer who will take pictures of the graduates as they come up to the stage and as they receive their diploma covers. These photographs will be made available to the graduates, families, and friends. We ask that you refrain from taking personal pictures except from your seats. And now call on Dean Leach to present the degree candidates. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates please rise? That means you. <laughs> all right. President Fiorentino, I am pleased to certify that the members of the class of 2019 have fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees which this university awards in their particular fields of study and are recommended to you by the faculty of Westchester University. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degrees to which you are entitled. Please be seated.
I would like to call up to the stage Cadet Brandon Young, who in addition to graduating tonight, has completed the requirements of the Army Reserve Officer Training Corps and will be commissioned as an officer in the United States Army. I also call Captain Matthew Pochak and Sergeant First Class Brian Suters of the Reserve Officer Training Corps to come forward. This cadet has volunteered in an act of selfless service to assist in the defense of our great nation. We will now publish the orders appointing him as an officer. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Brandon Young, and he is therefore appointed to the grade of Second Lieutenant in the United States Army, effective upon completion of all mandated commissioning requirements. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the newest officer in the United States Army, and wish him the best of luck in the future. President Fiorentino, I have the honor to present these recipients of the bachelor degrees in the College of Business and Public Management. Marshals, please escort the candidates forward to receive the symbolic presentation of their degrees. Cynthia Rivera Ruiz, summa cum laude. Nicole Boylan, summa cum laude. Courtney Miller, summa cum, Bachelor of Science. Teresa Bay. Cum, la cum laude. Michael Gelasso. Dominique Marchese, cum laude. Taylor Bracale, cum laude. Jackson File, cum laude. Doran Bilheimer, summa cum laude. Nolan Locke, cum laude. Kurt Zakaria, cum laude. Matthew Schultz. Be 
Pablo Pulgarin. Effie Panayotidis. Kirsten McPeak, magna cum laude. Jocelyn Zunio. Kendra Portis. Amanda Walston. Gabriella Felker, magna cum laude. Devin McNamee, cum laude. Kelly Ingram, summa cum laude. Kirby Brown, magna cum laude. Lindsay Cassidy, magna cum laude. Rachel Alfano. Jessica Powell, magna cum laude. Ruby Road, magna summa cum laude. Teresa Calastri, summa cum laude. Molly Larkin, magna cum laude. Monica Fries, summa cum laude. Maria Bozzelli, magna cum laude. Stephanie Dobbins, summa cum laude. Amy Pastizak, cum laude. Austin Lillis, summa cum laude. Connor Maliti, cum laude. Jasmine Marlinda Holmes. Michael DeFrancesco, cum laude. Caitlin Wilson, magna cum laude. Alexis Septa. Victoria Maffa. Joseph Gallagher. Alyssa LaMonica, cum laude. Jamie Lee Eagley, cum laude. Michelle Manos, magna cum laude. Carolyn Novi. Bailey Lazar, cum laude. Christian Hahn. Maggie O'Neill. Austin Simpson, cum laude. Emily Nelson, magna cum laude. Sydney Newman. Lauren McCauley. Hannah Kirchner. <laughs> Wilson Corden Lopez. Ryan Lynch. <laughs> Mackenzie Boyer. <laughs> Taya Indochi. <laughs> Shannon Going. Michael McNellis III. Nicholas Versaggi. Leah Alexander, summa cum laude. Dylan Montgomery, cum laude. Reese Cornish, magna cum laude. Connor McGuire, summa cum laude. Patrick Callahan, cum laude. 
Jacob Myers II, summa cum laude. Jonathan Bukela, cum laude. Seth Adams, magna cum laude. Matthew Viscosi, magna cum laude. Madison Cortina, cum laude. <laughs> Shannon Profi. Joseph Gallo, Jr. Nicholas Griffin. Brian Damone. Shane Comfort, cum laude. Robert Corcoran, summa cum laude. Eric Popke. Andrew Nimmo, magna cum laude. Madison Carr. Anna Seifert. Danielle De Simone, cum laude. Lauren Sherman, magna cum laude. Matthew Melvin, magna cum laude. Robert Sheasley, cum laude. Colin Buck. Steven Ziegler, Jr. Bradley Murphy. Seamus McCaffrey, cum laude. Cameron Daniels. Jordan Sadusky. Ariana Brigadi. Stephanie D'Annunzio, summa cum laude. Sean Lynch. Zachary Chiappini, cum laude. Claudia Lebensky, magna cum laude. Victoria Slaverio. Isabella Hunt, magna cum laude. Yonahande Pineda, magna cum laude. Charles Laughlin. Corey Otterbach, cum laude. Kendra Highlands. Peyton Settlemeyer, cum laude. Sandy Ayu, magna cum laude. Shannon Deagle, summa cum laude. Edward Helmick, cum laude. Colin Hondros. Ethan Healy. Jacob Duncan. Daniel Doherty, magna cum laude. Evan Blyler, magna cum laude. Nicholas Satterway. Christopher Zarnowski, cum laude. Joseph Black. Alayan Yocum, cum laude. Ellie Nuttall, magna cum laude. Courtney Lashley, summa cum laude. 
Elizabeth Baramani, cum laude. Margaret Lynch, summa cum laude. Himali Bias, cum laude. Magdalene Johnson, magna cum laude. Dakota Lehman, magna cum laude. Tashi Burrell. Eunice Park. Mina Gali, cum laude. Tyler Talley, summa cum laude. Jacqueline Miles, summa cum laude. Harry Mullaba, Jr. Malil Harrigan. Daniel Kim, cum laude. Brandon Martish, cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin Skameka, summa cum laude. <laughs> Brian Walford. Mary Catherine Donahue, cum laude. Nicholas May. Carly Mitchell. Cheyenne Mitchell, summa cum laude. Stephanie Matioda, summa cum laude. Jonathan Schmidt. Zachary Manley. Deja Williams. Kevin Delisme, summa cum laude. Calvin Payne. Samantha Jua. Davis Menya, cum laude. Vincent Williams, magna cum laude. Kyle Morris. Amy Carroll, Mustafa Fay, Alexander Rikus, Samuel Wagner, Tyler Strunk, summa cum laude, Thomas Taylor IV.
congratulations to all of the graduates of 2019. Thank you. Uh, once again, I would like to introduce Nicole Boylan. Okay. Baccalaureate degree recipients, please stand. That's you guys. <laughs> In symbolic recognition of the receipt of your academic degree, I now ask you to transfer the tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Congratulations, please be seated. Thank you, Nicole. It's my pleasure to introduce the president of the Westchester University Alumni Association, Ms. Lisa Wright Bryant, graduate of the class of 1987, who will present greetings from the Alumni Association. Congratulations, class of 2019 and welcome to the Westchester University Alumni Association. Now that you have accomplished one goal, it's time to set another. Now that you have realized your dream of becoming a college graduate, it's time to pursue another. Now that you have your degree in management, you can go out and manage the world. Now that you are officially an adult, everything you will do will work out the way you want it, right? <laughs> See, the adults are laughing, we know. That's not the case, not exactly. No, now is the time, graduates, for you to pursue every opportunity and manage your expectations. Now you may ask Lisa, what do you mean by managing your expectations? That's a great question. This is what I mean. There will be times when you dot every I and cross every T, working on this thing called life, and sometimes you will fall flat on your face. No matter what, you must manage your expectations. There will be times when you fully prepare for that promotion. There are times when your progress will be stifled by the very one you thought will be, will be in your corner but you must still manage your expectations. And this is how you'll do it. You will remember that you have greatness inside of you, and you will remember that you are Westchester University made. So you will understand that no matter what the circumstances, no matter what this situation is, your expectation will be, always will be, I got this, no matter what. So while you are managing your expectations, don't forget about your WCU family. Remember, we are your biggest cheerleaders. That is why we are always saying, come back home. We welcome you to come back for homecoming, alumni weekend, or just to say hello. Just know we are proud of you, and we are happy to see you always. So again, congratulations. I'll see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Bryant. Uh, today, we have honored our graduates. I know that every member of this class has enjoyed the support of some very special people in their lives. Now I would like to offer the graduates a moment to express their appreciation to families, friends, and others who have provided so much help along their way. Will the families of the graduates, mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children, other loved ones, please rise so you can receive the thanks you so richly deserve. And that means all of you.
Thank you. Please be seated. Thus ends our spring commencement. As Dean of the College of Business and Public Management at Westchester University, I wish to extend to all the graduates and their families the heartiest congratulations. Please rise and join in the singing of the first verse of our alma mater. Their words are found on page two of your program. Catherine Corbino, class of 2019 from the Wells School of Music will lead us. At the conclusion of the alma mater, Please remain standing until the platform party is recessed, and please join us for a brief reception at the Swope Music Building.
Thank you.